<laughs> I'm Alec from A Fistful of Vinyl. This is Days and Days. And uh, we're going to do a quick little interview here. So uh, thanks guys for coming. Glad the tour is going well. And uh, thanks for doing the session just now. Yes, thank you for having us. Thanks yeah. for having us. Of course, of course. So you guys just came out with Crustfall. Mm -hmm. um, and I listened to the whole thing, loved it. And I want to know kind of sensibly from your perspective, like... How does it differ from your earlier stuff, particularly as far as like message or like lyrical content? Uh, I would like to think that we, uh, we're just better writers now. Like uh, we've gotten better at our craft, and um, a lot of really. We can I curse on this? Yeah. Okay. Well, I really fucked up shit happened, um, which okay. is unfortunately you know great fuel for art. So. Um, I think the the lyrics are a lot more uh, evolved. Yeah. When we were writing Rogue Taxidermy, we were just drunk and didn't <laughs> just trying to get stuff it's, off our back. This one has a lot of like, meaning to it. It's it's really personal. Yeah. I think it's a lot more more personal. And I, I kind of figured out how to work microphones a little better. Yeah. There's not like a high pitched. Uh, <laughs> behind every track or not as high pitch it's like more deliberate lyrics yeah more yeah. technical it was skills. weird yeah. because when we wrote Rogue Taxidermy it was like no well, one's ever gonna like, listen to this yeah like, and so this this one was terrifying because now I was like well this is gonna be judged we had like pressure obviously yeah, yeah it I've took never us felt... like a year to record it yeah but what, when we were like finishing up I was so stressed out that I was, I was like couldn't eat as lost a bunch of weight as is bad, um, but I I love it personally. Yeah. I think it it's my favorite thing that we've done so far. Cool. Yeah, I think I think kind of like every new album should be that. Like this is. Yeah, I would hate to put something out and be like, oh man, I'm really on the down downward slope. <laughs> yeah. Like, Seven out of ten. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, okay, so that, like as you guys and you guys have been a band for almost ten years at this point, right? <laughs> Starting like 2008. Yeah. So, I imagine there's been a lot of, I'm sorry, am I the first one to... <laughs> we didn't realize it, Alec, till you just told us. Uh, a decade? That's on me. That's, it's, you guys have been a band since 2008, which is just yeah. edging on six years. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you. And, uh, yeah, I got You're you. good at you I do. got you. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to kind of, uh, you know... As you like, as you wrote earlier stuff and how that compares to now, I want to see if you kind of like agree with, you know, what you what you created earlier. If you still feel like the kind of sentiments that came with making Rogue Taxidermy and some of the splits. I honestly, I long for those feelings because everything just got so much worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I thought it was really bad when we wrote that. Yeah, and then you know, it I was just like, like, oh no, wait, you everyone keep, around me is gonna die. I mean, life keeps. I'm gonna keep getting finding. Older. Like, Everything's gonna get more expensive. I just just this Codidian well, fucking also, nightmare. Like uh. life keeps finding like more rock bottoms. Like you keep thinking you're there, and then and the then, fucking floor and falls And then it's through. like you're not there yet. Like yeah. how much can you can you take? Yeah. And I, I, it keeps, I, I keeps love, happening. I love the older stuff that we did, and I, I listen to it when I'm by myself because I, I feel super awkward when anyone else is around. But uh, I'll listen to it on my headphones, and I'm like. You whiny piece of shit. Yeah. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> you think it's bad now. These are the good days. Yeah. Well, it's really a testament of the time, then. Like, it's kind of a snapshot of, like, who you were at that time. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. Oh. And you guys got some really impressive collaborations on that one, too. I saw Scott from oh, Leftover Ca Crackmade in there and, that uh, was and a few other ones. Crazy. Tell me about I've that. been listening to Sturgeon and all his music since I was, like, 13. And then he was in my parents' closet singing into a microphone that I'd set up for him and it was like me and my mom my dad and my little sister and Veronica just all sitting downstairs in the living room like we could hear him singing like, this is this is surreal <laughs> as shit. Like, it was so it was so strange yeah and then Joey Steele's on it he's amazing yeah he killed it Freddie right? our it. first gut bucket player yeah he put up with our Juicy shit Carcass. for uh yeah, uh, Jesse was amazing. Marcus. I was like, hey, can you just do like eight bars, you know, a little rap thing? Mm. 
I mean, he sent me 16 bars. He's like, I think it's going to sound a lot better like this. And he yeah. was right. Yeah. Uh, well, that was, just saying, that, yeah. that was one of the cool things on the album. These guys didn't just, like, have people do guest vocals. Like, they wrote their own sections, right? Yeah. yeah um, aside from, from Freddie. Yeah, because yeah, 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 I was noticing at the bottom, like, you know, this verse, like, lyrics by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, thought that was, I thought that was really, really cool. Like, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. It's more than just, like, I being recognizable their, from them. It's, their lyrics are so good. Yeah. It's so <laughs> and they were really self-conscious. I was like, ugh. That's something to aspire towards. Yeah, about yeah. People who've been in the game a long yeah. time. Yeah, bring bring in all these people who actually know what they're doing, so <laughs> yeah. I can you know, I can I can get a little inside. You know, look. There you go. So part of why I was excited to do this interview is because you know we had our last one that was a few years ago at this point. I kind of wanted to get like you know updates on some stuff. So I wrote down some stuff that we had said in the last interview, um, and we had kind of a cool conversation about like what days and days stands for. Yeah. Don't shoot off my notes. Um, so it's uh um, one of the things you guys said before was like if days and days had a mission it would be to to make it so nobody feels alone that's completely Um, yeah still even more so now like yeah definitely and can you kind of like elaborate on, on that like you know talk to me about uh um you know how that like how that plays into the day day to day. How that plays into like it also culture. makes us feel not alone. Yeah. Because the way that people have embraced our story, and um, it's it's changed our entire lives. It's yeah, it's good. It's That's taken a, us all over the world. Like it's we all deal it's with insane addiction and depression and loneliness Various and other yeah we have, we've got problems and then we go some random city that we've never been to and there's you know 30 or 40 kids there that know stuff that we've written down on notebook paper before yeah and it's just the most it's it's catharsis it's crazy i need it it's i could (laughs) i really don't think i could live without that feeling of that of unity that it's wonderful (laughs) hey Um, how you doing bubba yeah Good to see you here. Thank you, Lil. Yeah, I'm watching up for that. Okay, I'm glad the dogs made it into frame. Yeah. I'm guessing people yeah. have been wondering what that sound is. It's the jingling zapping back and forth. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, no, I, I'm, I'm glad you said that because um, I mean, you guys have obviously you know gathered a lot more notoriety than you had the last time we hung out on air. So how has that affected you? Does that feel different in the day to day, or is it something that still surprises you? Oh yeah, I have yeah. no, I don't, I don't, I don't understand don't. why people like it. To be totally honest, I like it because I write it, and I need to get it off my chest. But then I listen to us play live, and I'm like, why are you enjoying this? It's just, I don't listen to us mind. play live. <laughs> I've listened to like three videos. No, and that's it. I don't, it's horrifying. I don't. Um, well, I've like, made five videos of you guys. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe two of them I've seen. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I don't know. It's it's I, I have no words. It's surreal. It doesn't make any sense. I don't. I'm I'm not saying that I don't appreciate the people listen because I I have overwhelming yeah. appreciation yeah. Uh, for anyone who listens to our music and comes to the shows and hangs out with us and takes pictures and drinks with us and stuff. It just I don't I honestly don't get it sometimes. Well, it's cool that you guys have hung on to like the interactivity element of that. You know, like. That to me seems like the most toxic thing for an artist to like outgrow is like the belief that they need to be face to face and like interact with their fans. Yeah, that's something yeah, you guys have always been so good at. That's the yeah. only thing. <laughs> that's the best part. Yeah, that's a, I don't see the, us the, not playing the songs is fun and all, but the only reason that I really, really love to do it is because I get to meet people and hug people and feel like I'm not yeah. alone on this rock floating through space till I go to sleep forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yelp agree? agreement. Yeah. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm glad we all took that as just like ing- agreement. <laughs> so I guess we'll. Uh, oh, I guess we can finish by kind of saying like, what's what's days and days can working? I, can towards? I explain myself? A little oh bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. Let's letter of apology. My name's Whitney Flynn, and I forgot my instruments, so I had to play a kazoo. <laughs> you played the hell out of that kazoo. I played. There was a, a couple now. parts that I was actually really proud of. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Does not <laughs> alleviate the fact it that yeah. I. It doesn't really have uh, the same oomph behind it no. as the I'm brass. I'm a trumpet player. That's what I do. 
And today I was a kazoo player. So. I goofed. <laughs> I done goofed. Yeah, but we need we'll to make... have the we'll have my instruments back by the show tonight. So. We could do tiny days. It could days be worse. so easy. It could be worse. It could be kazoo, ukulele, get one like a pail, a little bucket, and then yeah. a tiny washboard. You know. <laughs> That, that are everywhere. Really we could do tiny days and days. Tiny days and days. You heard it here first. Next session, we're doing it. I saw a tiny toothpick holder at a restaurant. There you go. That was a bucket. <laughs> it was a, a red solo. <laughs> yeah, get a red solo cup and a straw and some dental floss. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Conceptually, that was nice. It's just right. yawning it's still everywhere. Not an it's been a long day. It's <laughs> Gall- yeah, you put together whatever three objects you want. I'm just hungry. MacGyver. But. Okay, I didn't mess up as bad as Jeff did. <laughs> oh, glasses are off. <laughs> Hold the phone, right? <laughs> okay. We're off so on a tangent. You order your time, own goddamn oh, pizza. This whole time, bring it back in. Yeah, yeah let's reel it back in. <laughs> this whole time, so dramatic. we were recording uh, our session. I thought that I was just waiting. Oh, is this about the goddamn pizza? pizza? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. let it go. River. Go get some. Let's get this over with. You go get all the pizza. Yeah. You can eat I an entire Jeff pizza. I thought Jeff ordered pizza, Say and I was waiting know. for it, and he didn't because Jesse told him not to. Should and have so a book about it. I, I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> be called the Pizza Chronicles: The Lost and it's Missing. Really boring. It would have like one cell. <laughs> Two hundred fifty pages. It's just gonna open okay, it, yeah. and it's gonna be like Jeff's fault. <laughs> Two words. Got it. It's an awful. It's gonna be a bestseller. Book. Dr. I would Oprah. even fucking be... go check it out in the store. I'd walk past it. Okay. <laughs> Enough about the pizza. Let's get yeah. back on. We get this back on the rails. I still, yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe I it digress. ever came. So out of respect, for, out of respect for the hungriness, let's uh, let's go and return to what we were talking about before. Long term, what do we feel like days and days is moving towards? You know, we got where you started. We got where we are now. What's what's in the future? We're going wherever it takes us. Yeah, that's a horrifying question. Yeah, I think yeah. about it constantly. We're, I'm like, we're just, I, I care about this, we're gonna this keep band and these people and this music so much and the people that listen to it. I'm like, this can't. But wanna, every morning that I wake up, the first thought is, this can't last. Like, I can't do this forever. Thing right? about, like, there's, there's no way. The very important thing about Days and Days is we, we only work with friends. And we have great had, friends. We, we have great <laughs> friends. That's and. As long as um, my brain keeps wanting to put words on paper, we're not going to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we've come a this far. On stage. No stopping now, right? There's I no never stopping. thought that maybe one day I'd be 50 and playing a bucket. Oh what? man, I think about that bucket. all the time. Like us as like us like like leftover crack age. Yeah. Playing these same songs. I, okay. I'm like, I, I God, I hope it's not sad. Do you think you know? that? Yeah. Like so oh often. Oh my I'm God. Like, wait, wait, wait. Isn't that terrifying? Like. There's nothing... Well, I never really saw myself getting that old. So. That's, I mean, me too. One of us has to die, and then the rest of us will be... No. What, no. All of us must. I right? Don't... Isn't, that the, isn't that the formula of the <laughs> no. band, though? No. So like, you put out one record that, like, you guys a few would people like, and then one people die? No, no no one would keep doing it without any of us. But I'm saying, like, Bintner, everyone that was in Nirvana is really rich now, right? I no. guess that's the end game. <laughs> you know. Two out of three. <laughs> oh, did one of them I'll get fucked I'll take one for the team, guys. Yeah, he was going to become like a po- po- politician. Well, I mean, he's... Well, that's what I was saying. Well, the dead one, yeah. He's, <laughs> but one's got to bite the bullet, right? <laughs> I mean, who is really successful? Which one's going to be? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, that got cool, dark. Bang, <laughs> okay, towers. so, man... <laughs> So these are the people that we really are. <laughs> we just go off on dark I'm tangents glad about nothing. Like the last yeah. two minutes of it's the interview. Really, this is the, these are the things that I think about, and this is why I will never stop writing these songs because I have all these voices in my head telling me horrible, awful things as soon as I open my eyes in the morning. And I need okay? to put it on paper and record it. Yeah, as long as I can keep later. recording it, I'm fine. It's, I mean, it's it's fuel. It's volatile yeah. by nature, but it does <laughs> also was, make you if, go forward. If I was complacent and, and happy, the there would be no right days and days. <laughs> I would like just get a job at 7 live and kick it smoothly. <laughs> it's tight. <laughs> um, Mom! Clear the mic, dude. I got a stick! <laughs> Mom! Alright. Let's uh let's wrap this. Let's get everybody some food. Okay. Thank you guys for coming out. It's been super fun. Uh, Thank you so much for 
having putting up with our shit. Of course, dude. We are a shit show. A shit show. I was gonna. You took Just the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yep. Civil beast. Hold on. I gotta <laughs> both thumbs. We're doing all right. We're hey. doing. We made it through. We made it through. We did. We That's got it. At the end of the day. And we and we'll keep trying to make it through <laughs> as best as we Every can. Every day. If you ever wonder how we're doing, just be <coughs> one like, day at a time, one, brother. One yeah. day at a time, brother. One, one mile at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's call it then. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's All right. Cool. Thanks we're for listening, days. everybody. Yeah. Sorry Woo! about all that. I'm a pistol of Lionel. <laughs> this is days and days. We're all just people. It's a living. <laughs> all right. It's a living. You gotta look at the camera. It's like right. the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah. Like, did I do it right? Yeah, I think we're good. It's done. Yeah. Uh, that one I might watch. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely watching it. <laughs> <laughs>